It's August, it's international basketball. I can only possibly be one place. That's right, I'm in Tala. So as usual in Tala, the music is crazy, crazy loud. The women's international is up first, and Ireland playing Denmark in both games, just so you can get there wondering. Uh, Denmark being like a pretty strong, close to all the women's team. The men's is a bit more experimental, so we're hoping for a really, really big, brutal, tough game here in the women's matchup. Actually, be a nice day in Dublin for once when we're doing a game of basketball. Uh, you know, normally when you come to the arena, it's dour, it's wet. I know it looks overcast in the video, but trust me, it's mostly been sunny all day here and like generally quite nice. But of course, indoor sports won't be able to appreciate that at all. This is Emma from later, but you're seeing me earlier when everything's not finished yet. But I'm reminding you to please subscribe because we need to get those subs up and I hope you're enjoying the video. So it's half time of the Women's International. Ireland are leading 36 to 34, but they're going to be a little disappointed. Even though they're coming in, Denmark very highly rated by comparison to them they would have felt they could have led by a lot more in the break to be honest like a lot of runs that went in their favor two minutes to go they were up by about seven or eight i think it was and they just let denmark just creep back in to make it like you know a nothing game essentially the half they're going to be disappointed with that but we'll we'll see how it goes on that's just bad hard at work so the balls out you need balls to play basketball you know it's like very important Time for a catch and shoot, basically. Now it's time for some shameless plugging. Our merch is available for sale. The link is in the description. So, you know, buy it, help the site. Thanks. Three points in it. 20 seconds to go. Ireland trailing. Ireland must foul. Ireland have to foul. It's that simple. Unless, of course, they somehow get a turnover here. But the live ball doesn't help them much. There's the foul. Three point game. Five seconds to go. It's quite simple for Ireland. Hurley. Foul on the three. No call. No call. Denmark win. Overall, how do you feel with the performance of your team out there tonight? Uh, I think stepping into this game with one practice, uh, we did shoot some focus areas. We were very disappointed in our defensive effort in the first half, uh, which we did uh, step up in the second half. And it was just fun, a fun game with a, a good crowd in here. And it was a nice experience for us also to get a tight game and to get a, a feeling of how that is. And it's quite unusual because, of course, we're having international basketball here at the same time the Olympics is on. Is that kind of amusing to you in some way, like, or interesting? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of basketball right now, and I think it's just a moment to enjoy. It's uh, fantastic that we get the opportunity to be here, practice one more day, and then uh, play against the Netherlands on Sunday. So it's just a good summer for us uh, to have the second gathering and to be able to be here. And so, like, what's uh, on the calendar for you now between now and the next year basket qualifiers? What are you going to be working on? We'll work a lot of, on our transition offense uh, to get systems in for us to gain more speed, but then obviously also the, the principles in, in defense that we want to set the tone up for the heart of the team. So, And that was a good step for us to get this game for us, so we continue working on that. That's great. 
Thanks. Claire, obviously, not the result you wanted, but how do you feel about the performance today? You're not just changing clubs this year, you're changing leagues, so how are you looking forward to yeah. the big adventure? Going to a new country, yeah, it'll be something different, like it's probably time for a bit of a change as well, so yeah, looking forward to it, you know, it'll go well. And obviously Bridget's got experience playing in Spain, have you been talking to her much about it? No, to be honest, it happens. <laughs> I've only been lying at my setting once, so no, I haven't talked much about it, but sure, it's all about sport work at the end of the day. So, Gandhi, your second summer with the senior team, which is kind of wild to say, considering you still have a year of high school left. How's it feeling? It feels great. I'm honored all this time with this woman. Like, it's a great experience. And I think it's, it's great for me to go back to high school having this experience with women are playing so well at a high level. Great level. <laughs> Game 66-69. Not ideal, obviously, because there's a different product going in the background. Heard from a couple of players, coaches you see. Men are up next. Big, big cast of them. Although Denmark with a more experimental lineup, so who knows? There's Churchill. Drops the dime! John, I was the result you wanted, but you've got to be delighted to be back out playing there. Uh, yeah, uh, not the result we wanted at all, but it is good to be back with the guys. Uh, that was probably our worst day we could have had, so glad to be playing tomorrow. And of course, the big news that came out in like recent days, you are out of retirement. Like, you know, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, about five months of retirement there, so I had to get back at it. Miss basketball too much, basically. And like Sligo, like that's an interesting place for me to land. So what made you decide I'm going to play there? Was the golf? Uh, no, not entirely. Uh, I've been talking to Sligo for a while. They're trying to get me to come. So uh, the golf is a factor, but Glenn and Shane and all the guys there, it's, it's a good spot. Liam, uh, how did you feel about your performance out there? I mean, it's my first official game in a while, and uh, it was fun to be out there, but you know, it, was, it was, I think it was what uh, a, a first game of the season is supposed to look like. It's going to be messy, it's going to be dirty, it's going to be a lot of a lot of turnovers and a lot of just up and down, but overall, it just my own performance, it was nice to be out there, kind of like see what kind of shape I'm in, and, and of course, obviously there's a few things that I got to work on. And I got to ask the name, are you related to him? I can't comment on it. I mean, if you want to know, you got to look into it yourself. I'll do it one day, but... Well, i got to ask about the first thing then. Is there a bit of Irish in you? I don't know. I mean, my, my grandma is from the UK. Oh, right. So, so I saw Liam and I thought his baby's a bit Irish as well. well I know Liam is Irish, yeah. but my, my grandma is from the UK. And what's it like for you, though, getting to play these sort of preseason summer games? How important are they for developing both the national team but getting ready for the regular season? Like I said, it's, it's, nice, to, it's nice to be out there and kind of get to see what kind of shape I'm in, both technically and just in overall like endurance. So it's, it's a good little tester. I'll tell you what, obviously the result you wanted, but how did you feel with the performance out there, man? Uh, like, we've got a lot of stuff to work on ourselves. We did some good things, but you know, we just need to get used to each other and uh, cut down the turnovers. That was the game, I think. And obviously for most of your last few years in Iceland, are you going to be back there again this season? Yes, I'll be back. So tell us, what's life like there compared to like London or Blanchardstown? It's, it's a different life, you know, um, it's a peaceful life. The people there are amazing, you know, they, they always welcome me every time I come back. I love my teammates, I love my coaches, it's a nice environment out there. You know? Have you picked up the language at all? No, 
they speak great English, so I don't oh, I know really that, yeah. to. But, you know, some words here and there, maybe. And for you, like, getting back there to, like, play with the lads here in the national side, like, because obviously you're going to get to see them in these national breaks. What's that mean to you? It's, it's a lot, man. You know, I've been playing with these guys for, I don't know, maybe four or five years now. You know, we've formed a brotherhood uh, outside the court also, and every time I come here, you know, I have a good time with the guys. That's fantastic.